guys, if you're like me, you went and saw Guardians of the Galaxy this weekend and it was so good, right? Am I right? It was really good, right? I got to thinking after leaving the theater, and a few friends of mine did too, that it kind of had this vibe like it might possibly become the new Star Wars. Now I know it's a bold claim, I'm a huge Star Wars fan myself, but I'm just saying it kind of had that awesome vibe, lovable characters, just all sorts of goodness that the original Star Wars had. So let me know what you think, did you get that feeling? So far I've talked to three people and two out of the three felt the same way. Also, speaking of good, the soundtrack was amazing. It was so awesome. Awesome Mixtape Volume 1 is so cool. And guess what? You can listen to it for free on Grooveshark and we'll put the link below. And you can also buy it on iTunes if you're not into the whole free listening playlist thing. But I just gotta say that a lot of those songs on there were so good and some of my favorite artists like David Bowie, so amazing. It just kinda, it just kinda makes me feel... But uh, anyway, tell me what your favorite song was in the comments below. Speaking of falling in love, how could you not fall in love with Chris Pratt in this movie? I mean, we all fell in love with him already in Parks and Rec, but come on, now he's totally ripped. It's also good to know that he's not the only one who lost weight for the movie. All he had to do was stop drinking beer, right? And can't wait to see him in Jurassic World coming up next year. And speaking of Chris Pratt, has anyone else noticed that the Lego Movie and Guardians of the Galaxy are kind of the same movie? It's the story of an ordinary nobody who enjoys listening to his favorite songs, discovers an ancient relic, gets pursued by a disgruntled cop, and teams up with a group of lovable misfits to save the world from an incredible force of destruction. In a spaceship! Mind blown. Thanks to the observer who figured that out and posted that picture online. And speaking of lovable characters, there are tons of lovable characters in Guardians of the Galaxy, like Rocket and of course Groot, who no doubt Vin Diesel was overpaid to voice. I am Groot. But seriously, good job Vin, because Groot will forever now be in our hearts. And also on the characters front, did you stay till the end of the credits? If not, you should have, because there was a clip of Howard the Duck. Yeah, that's right. A lot of people are wondering what's going on, who voiced him. Well, apparently it was Seth Green who voiced Howard the Duck, and there are indeed some rumors floating about that there might be a Howard the Duck movie. Pretty cool, right? But Guardians of the Galaxy was so good that I think I'm gonna go see it again. Like, right now. So that's it for Ash's Stash. Stay tuned for other episodes, like my next episode, where I talk about some secrets I learned about the shooting of Jurassic World on the island of Kauai. So stay tuned for that one, and I'll see you guys later. You can lay yourself out. You know where the door is? You're still there. Go already. <sighs> Gotta go see a movie. Quack, quack, quack.